another Bake Off. Bake Off. My favorite. Oh. <laughs> but this week, we're doing a no bake Bake Off. <laughs> and we're not baking in today's baking Welcome video. Welcome to the no Bake Off. <laughs> baking is now canceled. We're done. We're just going <laughs> to slap some stuff together and call it good. I thought it'd be funny if we did a no bake Bake Off because there's a lot of no bake recipes out there that are so easy, so fast. Things that you guys can even recreate at home that doesn't require the oven. So that's what we're doing today. You know what? Mm. Try to come up with different themes, all right? If you don't like it, give me a different theme. <laughs> <laughs> Bring your own. Wow, <laughs> sussy. Sussy, I'm just coming up today. So we all have chosen a no-bake recipe. Or it was chosen for us. <laughs> okay, you know, I have to They gave me three options, but they're like, secrets. this is the one you're gonna use. <laughs> okay, what's yours? So mine's the no-bake cheesecake. Cheesecake mm -hmm. bites because mm -hmm. dad mm -hmm. loves cheesecake. I do. Okay, so today I'm going to be making sea salt caramels or caramels. The funny thing is, is if you watched my like video of what we did while these guys were hiking on an adventure, go check out their videos of them climbing Africa, Kilimanjaro. If you watch that video, I specifically said I was not making caramels this year because <laughs> they never turn out really great. And, and, now you're doing and instead I just went to the store and bought some caramels. Oh. And now Audrey kind of threw this at me so apparently I am making caramels this year well I guess technically it's 2024 now and that was 2023 yeah that was so last just year like, I'm making no bake hot chocolate fudge bars Sounds good. yeah so all of our recipes today are desserts but if you want to see another no bake video we could do like other like How about a no bake twice baked potato huh that's baked <laughs> the only thing we could I do like main like, no -bake entrees cookies? I don't yeah. even know what other no big things there are. There's like truffles. Ice cream? And... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that was on the list. Yeah, was it really? It's like no. a meal, like, like macaroni and cheese. Salad? Do you want us to bring salad? Yeah, there's a lot of things that don't require the oven, okay? So I try to pick things that usually you would use the oven to bake, but now we aren't. So Mom and I are gonna get started because ours has to freeze, so Dad gets to be cameraman. Plus, Dad always likes to be first, so we're not letting him. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling they're ganging up against me, but that's okay. I'm still gonna win because it's gonna be delicious. We'll see if it actually turns out this way, but that is the reference picture. Okay, so I have all of my ingredients out here. We're gonna need two 14 ounce cans of sweet condensed milk, two packets of hot chocolate mix. You're gonna need some semi-sweet chocolate chips, some white chocolate chips, and then also some little marshmallow bits. So cute. I'm going to melt my butter in the microwave, but it says to also add the heavy cream in and melt it at the same time. Like, that's weird, but you know what? I'm going with it. So does that count as a no-bake when you're using the microwave? Oh, I'm going to be using the stovetop too, so what? we're going to count it. Anyway, when I melt my butter, I like to chop it up because the microwave likes to splatter Explode. butter because it gets the inside of the butter like soft until it just bursts. So I try to prevent that by cutting it smaller. I'm being a scientist. Okay. Look at my beaker of hot cocoa mix. Mom says she's almost done. We're using the stove. That's okay, because stove cooking on this stove is cooking. It's not baking. Oh my gosh. There's a difference. So in here there's I have some. There's a difference. There's a difference. I have some water and some corn syrup. I'm going to add a teaspoon vanilla, but I'm just eyeballing it. I'm not going to make sure. She's what? such a baddie chef. Woo! Why don't you stick a spoon in there to help that so it doesn't come flying? A knife. Right. A, a knife? knife? Or some sort of utensil. And then to my vanilla corn syrup water, I'm adding some sugar. And we're going to cook that until it's boiling. Next. Oh no, I have to microwave. You know what happens when I microwave things? It explodes. We're going to clean up the mess. I got to microwave these bad boys. <laughs> so we got to do... What is this? It's my candy thermometer. Yeah, you have a thermometer specifically for candy? Yeah, to make this caramel. Oh my gosh, look, it says I need it. hard crack, soft crack, and hard ball. <laughs> and then there's a caramel one. That's what, That's I what need. we need today. Oh, oh my gosh. She was ready for much. this. I think you got the right tools. You, you got, got the no tools. Do I add this whole thing in there? Two cups. Oh, now you gotta get another measuring for cups. Oh, I got them. Dirty another thing. Uh, go wash it later. Right there. You want to try one? Of course. I'll give you a little treat, Dad. Since you're being such a good cameraman. Did you wash your hands? Yes, I did. Because I, I peed right before this video. 
Thank you. And I always wash when I use a bath mm -hmm. bathroom. Thank you for all that TMI. <laughs> Wait, we're not baking. I would say that this is two cups probably. I'm not liking dark chocolate. I don't either. That's not dark chocolate, that's semi-sweet. Is that's it? That's what we normally bake with. Oh, interesting. <laughs> interesting. Okay. Yes, that's two cups. It probably says it on there somewhere. It is two cups. Each bag is two cups. Yeah, each roughly. bag contains roughly two cups of semi-sweet chocolate. Hey, we got lots of stirring going on here. Yeah, you'll see. Look how much I've melted. <laughs> <laughs> and we're boiling over here. We boiling. just love to work together and close quarters at all times. So it says to stir it every one minute, but I don't want it to burn, so I'm doing it every 30 seconds. Now we got some melted butter here. That's gonna go to this mixture. That's the heavy cream and butter. And it will go to this mixture once we reach the correct temperature. All right. And then it's basically caramel at that point. All right, our chocolate is melted. Willy Wonka who? It's now Audra's Chocolate Factory. Have you seen the new Willy Wonka? Yeah. Is it good? It's mid. What's mid mean? It's probably an unpopular opinion though. I'd say it's Deese, but it's not the best. See, because I'm like an OG guy. Me too. Like, I like the older like the ones. The old Gene Wilder, like the OG. Oh, I was thinking... Not the Johnny Depp. I like the Johnny Depp one. It was all right, but the OG one was best. Anyways, I'm pouring this in here now. It's hard to beat originals. Yeah. Well, this one is about the backstory oh. of Wonka. Maybe I need to go watch it. I just wish the backstory was different. I'd rewrite the whole movie. <laughs> Anyways, this video is not about a Wonka review. This is about chocolate and <gasps> mission failure. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay, time. maybe really Wonka can have his job back. Girl, every time. Wait, I need a spoon. I need an assistant chef. A Jacob. Do you need a sous chef? Yeah. <laughs> I need someone to scrape this out while I hold it. That's you, father. Oh, Jacob. As I, as I look through the viewfinder. Jacob's my assistant that. chef. Here, sous chef. Bringing reinforcements. Hey, he's a taste tester. Oh. Now he knows. Well, they all. You have two hands. That's what. I'm hands. holding this one. It's probably sink. Oh my gosh. I was like, why? Did... <laughs> we so we like to make things to hard. Jake could take the cup from your hand and actually <laughs> use it. There we go. <laughs> and you can throw that work. away that you're it's holding onto. It's not teamwork. Look at that chocolate swirl. Isn't that just so delicious? I know you want to try it. I know your mouth is watering behind the screen. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna add in our hot chocolate. This is the secret ingredient. This is what makes oh, it hot chocolate fudge. I was wondering is how this. That came into play. Okay, hot chocolate fudge. <laughs> Were you supposed to be stirring it as you added it? I don't know. <laughs> We're making cake now. That looks like a cake mix. Yeah, it looks like frosting. Mm -hmm. This is probably gonna be so rich. <laughs> Cause wow. we also have white chocolate. Katie's over here at a scalding temperature. Still waiting. It's at 250 and I gotta go 320. So we're just but stirring. Eventually they're gonna let me start cooking. Not then today. it will get awesome. But until then you gotta put up with these two. Murders. This is looking like fudge. It's getting thick. My mixture, sugar mixture, reached the temperature of 320. I'm gonna slowly add in the cream and butter, which looks really gross at this point, but. It looks like eggs. We're gonna slowly add that in. Oh, that's hot. I'm gonna turn down the temperature because that's a blazing on my fingers. And then after this, I'm gonna bring the temperature back up to 200 and something. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Ooh, look, it is turning into the caramel though. Yes, it is. I think if you just dump this in, it would boil over. Yeah. So you just want to kind of slowly stir it. Yeah. Now my fingers aren't burning. That steam was hot. Mom's burning her fingers. All off. right, I missed the can opener part because I was busy cutting out the <laughs> parchment paper. That's my assistant. I'm <laughs> her assistant sous chef because the other one left. <laughs> yeah, where did you go? This does not look delish. Why is it so chunkalish? Did you burn it when you had it in the microwave? No. Now comes the fun part. I need to put this into here. That's my skills. <laughs> it's kind of set up on you a little bit. You know what that looks like? <laughs> <laughs> looks like chocolate mousse. Yeah, sure, we'll go with that. Hey, back up, boy. <laughs> he wants oh. some. I tell you what, he, he does not listen. He thinks it's for him. 
I know he does. He's like, you know what it looks like? Looks like puppy food, huh? Does it look like puppy food? Mmm. I think it's what we'll come after eating the puppy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, that looks delish. Yeah, it does. Now we're just gonna oh, spread uh -huh. that around there. In theory. So this came to 240. That's the temperature for soft caramel. Okay. And we didn't burn it, so that's a good thing. <laughs> Thank heavens. Now we're just gonna pour it in the pan, and it smells so good. Actually, smell it. Smell it. Smell it. Mm, it smells good. Smells deeply. Okay, we're gonna pour it in here. A prepared dish. Your pour looked a lot easier than Abby's. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> it's not that hard. <laughs> we're gonna let this sit for 15 minutes. Yeah, because right and now it's burning. It's blazing it's... hot. My fingers are on fire. And then after, we're gonna put on some of this sea salt flakes on, which is really fun. Not too much salt. It's like chunky little salt flakes. It's like stuff you put on the sidewalk to melt snow. Yeah. <laughs> so in 15 minutes, we'll sprinkle that on and then let it cool. It says three, four hours, but we are in like a zero degree temperature outside. So it's literally, literally we're not just saying that. It's literal. Yeah, zero degrees one, outside. It's like single digits. Yeah. So this is gonna go outside after I get this on and then um, we'll come back at the end of David's Bake Off and chop them up. It's almost my turn. Yes, it is your turn because this has to sit for 15 minutes. <sighs> it's time for the cutesy part. So we have both of the chocolate bases in here. We got our semi-sweet at the bottom, hot chocolate. You can't even see it. And then we got the white chocolate on top and now we get to top with the little baby marshmallows. So we're just gonna sprinkle that on. <gasps> so cute! This is so festive for winter time, winter season, which in Utah feels like it's never gonna end, okay? That's the truth. It's like half a year at least. We are gonna stick this, it says refrigerate for two hours or until set. We're just gonna stick it out in that zero degree temperature, baby. That will set. Got my flanges all over it, good. Everyone gets a piece <laughs> of my DNA. All right, let's take it out. I think I've got my ingredients ready. So we've got eight ounces of my cream cheese and then a half a cup of azucar, sugar. And then um, this is the last of the vanilla extract. It. I need one and a half tablespoons. That's about right. So. Oh, yo, yo. If not, it'll taste a little bit more vanilla. Hello, baby. Okay, so I He's watching. Do... You got live audience. Uh, I definitely have live audience. He's always <laughs> watching. It's like anything you want some? falls, it's mine. It's mine. And Logan's right behind me. For the heavy cream, I just gotta whip whip it. Oh boy, I'm backing up for this. <laughs> you chose a small, shallow bowl mm, probably, to do this in? Girl, really it's getting everywhere. Oh my gosh, it's getting everywhere. Why didn't you put this in the deeper bowl or our fancy KitchenAid? <laughs> well, laundry day. Laundry <laughs> day. my age and even I knew that one. Okay. Five minutes later. <laughs> Are you ready to check the soft I think we're at the soft cake stage. So the way you know is you take and you turn your beater off, you lift it out. <laughs> you might be between soft and medium. It looks Save. pretty thickly. It is. It's whipped. What? Nice. Okay and nice. then now I gotta put together all these. Oh. <laughs> Round two, what else are we gonna spill? Oh, this is working perfect. There we go. Did you go through the beer? Oh, he's like, he's ready. He's so ready. Hey, look at the floor. It's never been so clean. I know, because he's been licking it off. Then it says, fold in the whipping cream. Use a de decorating bag to fill 30 filled shells with cream cheese. I don't need a decorating bag. Wait, I think I bought some more but then you told me to keep it at my house. We never do big offs at my house. I was gonna say, if they're here, I don't know where we got where All we put them. All I need to do is just put it in with a spoon. We're good, we're not getting fancy. This is a no bake. No, you fancy. have, you're, you're like squeezing them out. You gotta make it cutey, like a little flower with cream like the top. Picture. Come on. Like the picture is for the thumbnail, Dad. <laughs> Look, I'm not gonna win anyway, so. 
just make it cute with the berries that go on top as long as you do it's good gonna with be that. cute trust me alice wants to lick the beaters comment down below do you guys lick the beaters when you're done only if there's no egg comment down below if you look like david after you bake <laughs> or no bake look. oh one more time Buddy, huh? Uh, I do have an apron. I think Audrey gave it to me. I did. Yeah. All right, we are now going to fold in the whipped cream. Look at that technique. First, I gotta get it in the bowl, and then we fold. You just fold, fold. Mm -hmm. There's probably a better utensil besides a, a spoon, spoon <laughs> but that looks like mixing, not folding. <laughs> Because I imagine if you get too aggressive, the whipped cream breaks down and it's not as fluffy. Yeah, and you want the fluff. Presentation, remember? Yes. Presentation. I've successfully folded, now I'm going to make sure it's completely integrated. Because you don't want to get like a big bite of like cream cheese with no whipped cream <laughs> and vice versa. Okay, so now I'm going to stick it carefully. So carefully. He's gonna make it cute. I'm gonna try to make it cutesy. <laughs> Without using a baking piping thing. Piping bag. <laughs> it's gonna be beautiful. You're gonna love it. You're gonna be like, geez, David was born with natural talent <laughs> when it came to no baked cheesecake. <laughs> this was your calling in life. Or you're gonna say, he needs to go back to school. <laughs> One of the two. That's I'm expecting the comments. So Perfect. There we go, there's that. Oh then I've already washed these because off camera, Katie told Audrey to supervise. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. I uh, thought you were just gonna put berry, red, berry, and I was like, okay, that's interesting. <laughs> this may not make six. This may only make like three. Well, you're doing heaping. I know, because they're gonna be delicious. <laughs> Okay, we'll be back when we show off all of our desserts. All right, here's our finished products all laid out. The boys are already taking guesses on which one they think is gonna win. Oh, I think it's gonna be one of these two are gonna be the favorite, and then that one's gonna be last. So I'm guessing we made dessert or sweets. Yeah, is that your good. guess of the theme? Mm -hmm. The theme was no bake bake off. Yeah, I heard. So you gonna oh. bake it? So you wanna do this one first? I'm this scared one? of that one then! This one was for you, Jake. There's Katie's. <laughs> no, this is just a little blueberry. Actually, I'll take a little blueberry. Uh, here. Atlas, what are you Get doing? Down. Cute! Okay. Mm. That's pretty these. Mm. Dang these. Mm. It's a lot of filling. Is it yogurt? <laughs> no. Yogurt. It's cheesecake. Cheesecake? It's a different consistency than normal cheesecake, but it does have a cheesecake taste. Mm -hmm. I think of it as like cheesecake flavored whipped cream. That's kind of what it what it's like. Mm -hmm. This is a lot though. I made big ones. Mm -hmm. Alright, this will get me on sugar high and we still have two more. Ease. Mm -hmm. Taste. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he got that one. <laughs> okay, which one do you want to do next? Mm, That's the caramel. We'll do the caramel last because it's sticky. It'll stick in your teeth. And I don't want it to. Yeah, but I don't leave, want it to bleed over into this one. It'll leave a good flavor in your mouth for the next one. I'm scared of this one. Why are you scared, I'm scared of it? I know one of the recipe. What? The condensed what? milk. Yeah. You don't like condensed milk? I don't know. Okay, here we go. Try it. I know that's what this is. You do like it. It's on no, the Hawaiian snow cone. Yeah, it's good, Jake. Sweet and condensed milk. It's in both the... of them. They're delicious. I'm sure it's chocolatey. Sweet and condensed milk is, is a It's hot indeed. chocolate fudge. The top is white chocolate and the bottom is semi-sweet with hot chocolate. This is too much. Yeah, it is too much. It's too thick. One bite is enough. You probably need like very thinner. That's why I say usually they cut them to where they're just one little bite and that's a serving. Yeah, because it's, it's so, so much. much. It's, drink. it's good. Oh my! It's so it's much. Super rich. It's good though. You know, when it's like this rich, it makes me kind of want to throw up. Well, you usually <laughs> you eat it's like much. one bite, and then that's your that's all you get. So that you want, it leaves you wanting more. Yeah. A thumbs up. Yeah. I give it a thumbs seven eighths. Seven eighths. It's too rich. Oh. It's okay. Caramel time. These caramels have been sitting outside for so long; they're rock hard. But it is caramel. Oh, oh. 
They're soft. They're soft. Mm. Audrey, it's not rock so. hard. Pretty good. This one's my favorite mm. one. I just gotta check the salt. <laughs> <laughs> I, just ate, I just got a mouthful of salt. This is good. This is my favorite one. What did you like the entire time? on that one. It doesn't taste like caramel to me. It totally tastes like it's caramel. It's literally caramel. <laughs> it doesn't taste like mm. the normal ones. This one's my favorite. Okay, but yeah, mine was the caramel. Which one Mine's the fudge. Oh, okay, which one was your favorite? T it's a toss between these two. Oh! Oh, poor Audrey. Not even a question. Yours is good, it's just way too rich. <laughs> <laughs> well, let us know down below which one you would try. What theme of Bake Off you want next? And I think this was successful. They were all really good. There's a lot of sugar at once. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, subscribe, thumbs up the video, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.